this series, we are going to showcase our travels through Turkey, all the delicious foods, and some of the friendliest people on the planet. So sit back, grab a kebab, and enjoy. You're in for a treat. Hello there travel lovers, so today we have another beautiful day here in Istanbul and I feel like I say that in every single video but trust me if I say that that means it's true every single day is absolutely gorgeous here sun is shining and today we have 27 degrees it's a hot one thanks god I've got some sunscreen on my face <laughs> uh, but today we're going to Topkapi Palace which was once home to the Ottoman Empire we're also going to be trying some more traditional delicious Turkish food so again cannot wait for that and for now we're just having some lemonade because like I said it's really hot today and we just found this really cute cafe so we thought we're gonna stop for some refreshing lemonade and it sure is refreshing <laughs> so we're just gonna finish this drink head to the train station and we'll see you at the top cafe palace So we just arrived at Topkapi Palace and we noticed when we first entered that there's a huge queue. You can kind of see the queue forming behind us there. But this lovely gentleman who's offering the tours here said, if you just go up there, you'll be able to buy your tickets if you have a card. From a machine From a rather machine. than a person, yeah? So that's exactly what I've just gone and done. I've yeah. just walked a little bit away from this big yeah. queue behind us. I've purchased two tickets and it took no time at all. So shall we go in? Just yeah, dinner? let's go in. Yeah, let's let's go explore in. Topkapi Palace. <laughs> <laughs> We've just found the palace cat. Cute. Oh my goodness. There's not many that actually let you pet them. No. This one's most very of them just run off. Aww. Aww. And his tail's going yeah. cute. All right, we're going inside now. Bye. Bye, sleepy head. Gula, gula. So we believe we need to go through this way here. The entrance, it kind of looks yeah. like a. Uh, Disney Castle from here. <laughs> so we're going to go in and hopefully we're going to be amazed. So we've just read a really interesting fact about Topkapi Palace. Did you know that it's the largest and the oldest palace to survive to this day? Wow. wow. And it was built in 1478 and it covers 400,000 square meters. That's insane. Can't Christina. even imagine that in my head, can you? Have we even got enough time to go across all of that? I think we should have come here in the morning. I think yeah, so. and spend the whole day exploring this palace. What's nice about it is it feels quite open here. Yes. There's loads of courtyards. Yeah. It's not too like squished. Even though it's full of tourists, not gonna lie, there's a ton of groups here. You're right, it feels very spacious, like yes. you have enough space to breathe and go wherever you want. At least for now, we don't know what's it gonna be like inside, yeah. but hopefully a similar situation. So I just saw a sign for the kitchens. Shall we take a look? Yeah. Let's go and explore All some right. kitchens. This is the most elaborate dustpan and brush I've ever seen. Can you imagine whipping that out? So this is what the sultans used to eat off. These gorgeous plates. All the cutlery. Yeah, all the cutlery. Nice. The size of these cooking pots. What would go in there? A human? <laughs> so guys, we found out that the chefs here at this palace used to cook 6,000 meals a day. Mind-blowing. We also found out that the sultans moved from this palace to Dolmabachi Palace in 1853 and when they moved over to Dolmabachi Palace this place kind of lost its prestige and it became a museum in the 1920s. So this is what they used to look like back in the Ottoman Empire. You used to walk through the palace dressed like this. 
the sultans ruled for 400 years from this palace until the 19th century. And this place once housed a mosque, a university, a council, and the imperial mint. Once, there was up to 4,000 people that used to roam around these courtyards and these hallways. Can you even imagine 4,000 people? That just shows you the scale of this palace. It's unbelievable. Let's look around some more. So when Misha mentioned the Imperial Mint, she wasn't wrong. This palace used to produce coins for the Ottoman Empire. And even when the Turkish Republic was formed, they were still producing the coins here until 1967. Oh my god, I've just googled what happened to the Ottoman Empire mm. and did you know that it fell apart only 99 years ago? So next wow, year yeah. in 2022 it'll be 100 years. Only. It's unbelievable. And the Republic of Turkey was founded by Ataturk in 1923. So it's so young. Yeah. If you really think about it, this country mm -hmm. is so young to have that independence. It's Absolutely. not been long at all. So the origins of the Ottoman Empire so Osman I was the leader of the Turkish tribes in Anatolia and he founded the Ottoman Empire in 1299. 1299. Wow, that's yeah. insane. And the term Ottoman is derived from Osman's name, which was Uthman mm. in Arabic. Okay, Uthman. Uthman. Yeah. Uthman. Yeah, okay, so it's cool. kind of the same, yeah. So, Justina, what countries did the Ottoman Empire rule in? Yeah, so we've got a list of countries here. It mm. says Turkey, Greece, Bulgaria, Egypt, Hungary, Macedonia, Romania, oh, wow. Jordan, Palestine. Palestine, Lebanon, Syria, some of Arabia and some of the North African coastal strip. Wow, yeah. I didn't realize it was that many that countries. That many, yeah. So they I were really rich. They were, oh God, they were so and rich. powerful. Very powerful, And they yeah. said that they had their best years uh, between 1520 and 1566. Their best years. Yeah. What do you think they were doing in their best years? What makes it the best years? Maybe taking over more lands? They were like, yeah, we're taking over another country. Yes. yes. I feel like once you get here and you look around, you can really immerse yourself yeah. in the palace and what it was like. Yeah. And especially with those waxwork uh, figures that yeah. we saw in there. and the outfits. It's like, wow, that's yeah. what they used to look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting. Sometimes I imagine myself in that time whilst yeah. in one of those rooms and like trying to imagine the people, <laughs> how they used to sit, how they used to read, how they used to eat yeah. just try and like transfer myself back in those days <laughs> and it's surreal you would be like serving tea yeah what would i be doing You'd if i was part of the up. ottoman empire do you think i'd be in one of those harems like i'd be oh, like yeah, the entertaining on. girl or something you would definitely be entertaining <laughs> you, you were even dancing here yeah so yeah. that would be your job there entertaining you the sultans bringing them their tea more tea sir that would be you so if you want you can actually actually get me a time machine and I'll go back to 1299 <laughs> Which and, really get a, to and get a little job for myself <laughs> anyway guys okay. enough nonsense okay because yes. we got carried away so what we're gonna do now is gonna go and try some traditional Turkish food oh my god and I have been looking forward to this particular item for a very long since time since we arrived here yeah, so, so let's, go. let's go and eat <laughs> Here, okay? Maybe we yeah. can sit here. Yeah, we can sit here. Thank, Thank you. you. 
Lahmacun. Yes. Lahmacun. Yeah. His name is Lahmacun. is original from Arabic. From Arabic. Is meat. Meat. Majun is dough. Dough. dough okay, is meat. meat, dough, yeah. dough meat. Okay, meat. good to know. I can't believe we've been saying these names so wrong all this time. I know. We're so foreign, Justina. <sighs> but you that's know? why it's always so good to ask the people how do you actually say it. So we don't want to be the fools on the camera and we're going <laughs> to say this right. So we got Lahmacun coming and we also got Pida coming. Pida. It's okay. Oh, thanks for showing us. Yeah, thank you so much. What's up? Is it this? Oh my god. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. And after that, we make the roll. put salad on top yeah and then exactly you squeeze inside. some lemon on top and then spread all over this lachmajun dish and then rolled it and we're supposed to eat it with our fingers wow it's kind of like a turkish pizza really but rolled um inside is lamb and beef right yes and some spices yes okay let's give it a go mm. Mm. oh it's really good of course it was going to be good though, right? Yeah. We've heard so many things about it. And this is probably the most anticipated dish that I was looking forward to yes. here in Turkey. Yes. I like the crunchiness of it, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's that crunch again. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Very hard to describe. I thought it's going to be quite dry, but it's not. Mm. I think it's the salad and the lemon. Mm. Mm. But yeah, crunchy. <laughs> Made you jump. Really nice meat. <laughs> Sorry, some of it got stuck <laughs> in my breath. But really nice texture, really nice taste, really nice meat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, where's my eye <laughs> around? Down it, girl. Much better. But it's really good, isn't it's it? It's really good. Nice and light. Mm -hmm. I would say it's not as heavy as pizza, because after a big pizza, you're like feeling like you need to, you know. Because the dough is really, really thin, mm. and that's what I like about it. Now let's try some of this pizza. Yeah. Mm. So it's basically like another type of pizza in a way, it is but a bit, in yeah. a shape of a boat, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. So here we got like different meats. We got ground meat. We got some sausages. We got tomatoes, peppers, cheese. We're gonna try the end of it. So I think that's just some ground meat, peppers, yeah. and tomatoes. Oh yeah. Mm. Absolutely, I love it. I can't even tell you which one is my favorite. They're both my favorite. <laughs> Going for it, girl. Natural. Perfect. Oh, that was really crunchy. Mm. Hello, can I film you? Wow, so you're making dough, yeah? So from a little ball into this nice, long, thin dough. Lachmachun? Lachmachun. Mmm. So it's all handmade, guys. It's all handmade. I wonder how many lachmachuns they make a day. He's also a crazy man. Is he a crazy man? Wow, they just toss it in the fire. <laughs> wow. This is pide? Pide, yeah? Wow, now he's making pide. Mm. Oh, cheese. We love cheese. Wow, so he said they make about 700 a day. Insane. Oh, that's how you make it into a boat shape. Wow, so beautiful. This guy's super hard because he's standing here next to the fire all day long. Insane, such a hard worker. <laughs> and him too, bless him. Okay. Adding a bit of oil. And back in the stove. Ah, 
ready. Lazio Lachmachun. Gula gula. Teşekkürler. <laughs> and guys, if you're wondering, this is where we had Lachmachun and Pide. Five stars. So after that incredible meal, we've just ordered some chai. In fact, it's quite common for you to have some chai after your meal. So, you know, we're trying to blend in and be like locals. Uh, but guys, in case you've noticed something on my nose, <laughs> which I'm sure wow. that you have, don't be alarmed. Everything's okay and it's not a spot. <laughs> Woo, surprise, surprise. So when in Turkey, you can get some amazing beauty procedures done for a really good price. And I was no exception. <laughs> so just do you want to spill the tea? And well, everyone what you've it's something very, very minor, but something that has been bothering me for years and years and years. So you might have noticed in our previous videos and pictures that I used to have a little bump here. So it's like a skin mole, skin tag, I'm not sure what to call it. Yeah. There was never a spot. Um, um, it was always there. I could see it in my eye line. So I've decided to remove it. So we just went into one of the uh, dermatologist clinics and the lady just laid me down and it took 10 minutes. She lasered it off, which is amazing. It's not like she shaved it off or anything like that. It was an actual laser procedure. And I also had another one here. Yeah. yeah. So obviously right now I look like a scabby Betty <laughs> because everything is healing. So I just wanted to apologize for the way I look, but I'll hopefully, but hopefully in two weeks time, this will look amazing and my face will be nice and smooth with no bumps. Okay guys, we're too full to even say goodbye actually. So we're just gonna <laughs> say it very quickly. Yes. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like it, share with your friends and as always, Cheers to freedom! Woo! Hurry up, please. We want our chicken dessert. Chicken, please. We're so eager to eat chicken dessert. <laughs> <laughs>